Hi there, we are going to start off at my favorite Goodwill. They were restocking and you do have permission to reach into the bins and help yourself. At the Shillington Goodwill, you have to wait till they put it on the shelf for you. This was a musical nativity. And then there were some, it looked like playing cards. And then I pulled this box out and it looked like they were like prayers, like thank you Lord for something, like daily maybe affirmations. And they were just put in a different kind of box. So I left those there and then I, the graphics on this book piqued my interest. I wanted to know what that was about and it was sketching with markers. And then I looked up <laughs> and I saw her and I thought, no, I don't want to have that kind of a day. I want to have a good day, find all kinds of treasures here. So here is another shot of another cart. Sometimes you can kind of peek in there and look down and see that, no, there's nothing there. For me this was on an end cap it was a made in mexico leather coin purse very nicely detailed and then these plates i thought were an unusual shape and then i wondered if they were like a hobbyist piece but it said hand painted so i think maybe maybe someone painted that in japan i find that a little interesting that they would be painting covered bridges but hey I don't know <laughs> and then I thought this was cute and I thought it would be really neat if you could pull that little wire and the bell rang but it wasn't it was just for looks so I left her on the shelf and then down here was a Danbury mint collection of bone china all of the 50 states uh, bell collection so it came already for you in the in the display case and they're all 50 were there, I counted. And then it's a little, little blurry here because I was trying to angle it so you could see it was $12.99. So I apologize for the blurriness. There we go. So it's $12.99 for the set. I did leave those there. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and let's see. Um, though this was, I was just there today and I wonder if this piece would go with the piece I saw today. Today I saw a standing ox with a little boy on top of the ox. So I wonder if those two pieces actually go together. That has happened to me. I've gone in one day and picked up something and come back another day and found the matching piece or something that goes with a set. I thought these dishes were super cute. They had them taped together. I believe they were marked made in Portugal. So they had them taped together in groups of two. So it was nice. You didn't have to buy separate ones. They were grouping them. They are made in Hungary or they were made in Hungary. I thought they were very cute. I liked the heart shape of them and I liked how they had them grouped together in pairs here is a hand-painted welcome sign. I thought this was very neat. Had The lady was from Lancaster. Very nicely done. I thought about it for a little bit, but then I decided against it and left that there. But it was very nicely painted by her. We're going to finish up this trip to Goodwill without buying anything. That's how it is sometimes. Uh, I do look at this cute little mug marked Western, made in Western Germany, but I do leave that on the shelf. And up next... You will see Jocelyn and me at Shillington, where I thought I wasn't going to buy anything again, but I find something at the very end. Let me say, I'm an anthropology expert. Oh, I don't know. That looks like Target. No, it's stoneware. Oh, what's this? It's broken. Oh. It's got like... Turn him around. Oh, it's like he fell off the shelf. I know. <laughs> Somebody loved him enough to like glue him Aww. piece by piece back together, because that's a lot of pieces. <laughs> I started off in the red section. I was looking at this tray. I thought it might be porcelain or ceramic, but it turned out to just be plastic. And in the clear glass section, there was this very large made in Poland decanter with a little donut shape in the middle. I thought that was a very nice piece. And here was a small Sandra Boynton mug. Usually you see her like, don't let the turkeys get you down. Some of her mugs do sell very well. These were nice. And then here was a very large Holy Family figurine. And it said it was handcrafted by Lehigh County Senior Citizen Center in Allentown. So they did a very, very nice job. Very, very large, but still a very nice piece. I like the all, the all white. And then I wanted to see how much they were charging for $7. It's a very nice piece. I was wondering who made this. Had these little imprinted flowers around the edges of it. And there was the initials, looks like DTB. This was cute, but it was plastic. 
So that kind of threw me off. I was expecting it to be resin. Oh, I like that one. Isn't it cool? I like this one. I love the glaze on them. Very pretty. And then this one oh. kind of has like sequoia or like oh, yeah. little vibes going on. Let's see. Who makes this? It's a secret. I don't know. I don't know who makes this. Oh, here's another one. They're not priced. Maybe someone took them out of a bag. What's this? Bourbon Street. Oh, it has big crack in it. This is whistle for your beer. Oh, it's really cracked. Oh gosh. That's really damaged. This next piece looked like it was made, handmade by somebody. It maybe was to hold letters or you could stick a plant maybe in the back of it. I thought it was an interesting look to it. And then this wooden box. I like wooden boxes and it, it looked like it had little puzzles inside it. But it still was a nice little wooden box if you needed a box with three dividers. And that's true. <laughs> My cat ignores me all the time. Here was a Pyrex bowl and you can tell how many times it was run through the dishwasher because be, because now it looks like it's frosted yellow. This little trinket dish was Carlton Ware and it said Australian designer. So I don't know if this was designed by someone in Australia or part of a line that was geared towards Australia. But it was very sweet. And then this was very interesting a dancer of some type or a musician and then I was excited about the creamer and sugar because I like selling creamer and sugars together but it had a big crack on the front so unfortunately I left that there and then this cup and saucer grabbed my attention mostly because of the color blue it's such a pretty robin egg blue it was $2.99 and it was Queen Anne fine bone china England Nope. She has a missing leg. Ooh. Jocelyn and I both like this plate. I thought it was really neat, but it was more contemporary and it was plastic. It had a really neat tiki design on it. It would have been phenomenal if it had been porcelain or ceramic. And then here was a little fish. And, oh, in the back, I thought these might be Port Marion, but they were not. They had that look, though. And this was really interesting. It was a peeler in the shape of a mask. And the back was all in Asian writing, Chinese or Japanese, I'm not sure. But I thought that was really cool. And because I haven't found anything, <laughs> I went and looked in Jocelyn's cart for some inspiration. And she had picked up some really nice things. So I was going to give it the old college try and go look in the Christmas section. <laughs> Here is a snowman and you hung the snowman probably outside on your porch because it's very big. He had a chip on the front of his hat and it was very large. So I left that there. This is where I found that cute little Santa candle holder last time we were here. And then these were all, it seemed like they were all the same. So I found that puzzling. Still trying to find something. Then there were, <laughs> there were these, 12 Days of Christmas. And, oh, I was like, oh, here it is. Here's my first thing. I thought it was so pretty. And then there it is. There's a chip right in the front. <laughs> so it's like, darn it. Somebody probably realized the same thing as me, and that's why that random creamer was in the Christmas section along with this plate. Still, still looking. I'm determined. This was sweet, but it looked like she was playing it with her ear, her horn, so I decided against that. Then I found these. There was a stack of plastic, kind of, you would put candy or something in them. So I set you on the shelf so you could see me unwrap them. And I've sold these before, but mine were in better condition. They're plastic and they're old, so they crack very, very easily. The ones that I previously sold were from a convent, so that was a fun fact. They were all Christmas and Easter ones. Then I was surprised to see a Halloween one, and I know Halloween sells very well, so I was hoping that there would be another Halloween one, but the rest were Christmas, and I think at the bottom is Easter right there. 
So I thought, well, I could still get these. And then the closer I looked, I don't do a very good job of showing you. The closer I looked at the Halloween one, there was a big crack, right? Oh, look, I'm showing you without showing you. There it is. There was a big crack right there. So I decided to leave those for somebody else who wasn't as picky as me. I left them on the shelf for the next person. And then I spied that through the little thing there. And it was $1.99 for one small one, which I thought was a little bit too much. And then, Diane, here is your stocking. And I really like this artwork. This said, San Francisco Fisherman's Wharf. I've been here many times as a child, but this print was very, very stained, so I left that on the shelf as well. That's me. Those are beautiful. Those are pretty. I like the little one. Yeah, I know. Now you're going to be in my video. Huh? Now, now you'll be in my video. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm behaving myself. I'm behaving myself. <laughs> you are behaving. So I'm, so I'm on both your videos. I know, yes. <laughs> Wait, these are signs off when. Yeah. Double Vision, 1992. Oh my gosh, they're Double Vision glasses. I'm going to get them. them as cool as I you think can. all of these. I've got these candlestick holders that aren't nearly as cool. Okay. All right, I'll help you. Okay. I really like these. Goodness gracious, look at that. Oh, look, I found you a cake. I knew you were looking for one that didn't have hair on it. Oh, I bet I like them with the hairs. <laughs> That's a right. big candle. <laughs> That's a big candle. Look at these little tomato things. Wait, is my luck turning around? I think so. I think I'm going to have to share my cart with you. <laughs> that was the thing. I had to go put my cart away. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> oh. Like, where are you going to go next with the kitty cat? In the white section. Okay. Let's go, Earl. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you Aww. Poor thing. <laughs> and then there was more. Every time I turn around, there's another one. Now I really have to look for them. It's like an Easter egg. Jocelyn tried to talk me into getting this giant coin bank, but I uh, declined. <laughs> it was cute, though. Oh. Look at this. Aw. I know somebody who's going to have a little princess. Let's can't paint it. That's pretty. Put it in my basket. I mean, Jocelyn's basket. <laughs> Thing. That's interesting. Mm mm, good. Huh, let's see. I'm doing this outside, so you'll probably hear some traffic. And I have a helper here. Charlie is watching me through the uh, glass. <laughs> I hope you can hear this okay. If not, I will do a voiceover. So here are two of the glasses that I found. These both have an R on the bottom of the glass. This one is a little bit thicker, you can see here. There's the R. There's my Susie. Making, she's like, why are you outside and why am I not with you? So they have very pretty colors to them. This has a little bit of water staining on the inside. I haven't figured out who makes the R glasses, and if you know who makes it with this R, please leave a comment below. I appreciate that. So there's that set. Up next are these two glasses. I thought that these kind of go together with the colors, and they also have the same signature on the bottom. So I believe that they were made by the same maker. You can see it kind of right the RM maybe. This one does have popped glass right here, so it is sharp on that side, but then you just drink on this side. <laughs> but you can tell they are handmade because they are uneven. They're not perfect, but they certainly are pretty. I really like these. 
This glass looks very similar to two other ones that I'm going to show you, but it has no marking on the bottom of it. So if you look at that one, and I put these also with it, don't they look like they all go together? But these two are have the same signature on the bottom, DGD, and this one is DG94. There is a little chip right here on the edge. You can see it right there, unfortunately. So you'll have to be careful with that. So because these look so similar, I would think maybe sell them together, but this one is not marked. So it makes me not want to sell those as by the same maker. This one is also signed DGD and it has that rim, kind of a ring here. And it is a taller glass. If this one had, I mean, look, they look so close. <laughs> but these three are definitely by the same maker. And this one either is by the same maker or it just didn't get signed. And this is the double vision glass. And that is signed on the bottom, double vision 1992, which was a very good year. So here are all of the glasses. Move this over here so you can see it. So I'm thinking these will be separate, these will be together, this will be separate, these will be together, and these will be separate. Here are the tomato salt and pepper shakers. I believe that these are very, very old based on the bottoms of them. I did clean them up, but they show a lot of wear. They will need new plugs. And at first, uh, because they were taped, they were taped like this or like that or something, I did not see this. And at first I thought it was a chip, but it is just uh, green paint. So there are no chips or cracks, but um, there is wear because someone loved these tomato salt and pepper shakers. And then this piece I just thought was so sweet and it was marked Vinton. And then on the back, it had Deer Country Kiln. And this was made by Bill Vinton. He is a artist from, he was an artist from Maine. And he was an, um, he ran his kiln from 1950 to 1970. So I was very happy that I went with my gut and just picked it up based solely on the fact that I thought it was very, very sweet with the little daisy imprint on it. And then here is the kitty cat that you saw Earl put on the shelf for me. I really like the mid-century modern look to it. And it is marked on the bottom made in Taiwan. So I am assuming that it was probably from the 70s, maybe 80s. But regardless, it is super cute. So there are the rest of the things that I got on this trip to Goodwill. And the last thing I wanted to add to today's video was a viewer named Carla from South Carolina was so generous that she sent me some little Occupied Japan figurines for me and I wanted to share them with you. So let me flip you around. Here they all are. It was so, so sweet of her. She had heard that I am collecting the Occupied Japan figurines and she has collected some of these and she wanted me to pass them on to you. So I'm enjoying them right now. On here, there, I put them here on the mantle. Look at these, look at this, look how sweet they are. Some are Occupied Japan, these are, and then a couple of them are just made in Japan, which I love as well. Here's a little cornucopia, a little horn. And then look at these little figurines. These are wooden, little wooden dogs. You know, I love dogs. So I wanted to share that with you. So thank you very, very much, Carla, for your letter and your generous spirit of sending these to me. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see ya.